Oh, welcome back to Let's Be Frank Culture, where we cover um, TV shows, movies, video games, and anything culture related, including music performances. Apparently, the Country Music Awards were last night, and you can't get away from this stuff. On the heels of the tragedy that took place in Nashville, where a transgender went in and killed six Christians, uh, we are now having this pushed down our throats even more. The drag queens are brought out in country music here to celebrate and say they were willing to go to jail under the new law that says they're not allowed to perform in children anymore. They're upset because they cannot perform for children. Let that serenade in your head for a moment. Grown, grown men, they're dressed like women, are mad because they can't perform in front of kids. That's right. That's what they're upset about. And the Country Music Awards decided to go ahead and highlight this fact on their awards show last night. And they had a whole segment here where they were singing about if they go to jail, they'll go down with them too. Absolutely disgusting. Not that I like country music very much. It's never been one of my favorite music, uh, music genres. Uh, it just makes it a little bit less likely I'll continue to or will uh, entertain listening to country music as long as they continue to push this agenda. And again, this is an agenda driven thing that you are seeing um, hit in every part of culture, every part of entertainment, uh, you know, from Disney all the way to the country music. Uh, has it that was seen that to be the last bastion, right, of what true Americana looked like and no longer because they are now embracing the drag queen um, uh, agenda, the the transgender agenda, as they are going to go fully down this road. And it will be interesting to see the backlash that will take place because of it um, on country music. Is, is country music fans going to uh, support this? And are they going to continue to give their hard-earned dollars to an industry that goes against their values? And a lot of times um, in, in country music, uh, Christian values are wrapped up in country music. I don't know how that is, but it is. And and a lot of Christians will listen to country music and they think it's okay. But this is the type of propaganda that they're pushing in the music. This is what they're pushing. This is what they want to do. It's absolutely wrong that they continue to do this. And of course, uh, the, the blowback uh, for the country music industry will be very, very interesting as the days move forward. Very poor taste, especially on the heels of the tragedy that took place in Nashville, where this was held, where a transgender individual that was upset about the drag queen story hour bill that was being passed in the Tennessee legislature decided to go ahead and take out their frustration on Christians inside a school filled with children killing three of them and killing three adults. Uh, just terrible, bad optics for country music. Hopefully the uh, fan backlash will be fierce and loud and they will have to come out and issue an apology and distance themselves away from this. Whether they will do it or not, I, I will. it's yet to be seen. In my opinion, I highly doubt it. I think they doubled down and they'll continue to push this agenda. You let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Have, did you watch the Country Music Awards last night? And if you did, let me know what you thought about it. And what did you stick around long enough to see this gem at the at very near the end of the show? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, including Twitter, which is linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit, uh, follow me there. Hit that subscribe, uh, like button, et cetera, et cetera. You know the, uh, you know the thing that you guys got to do. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic, and very entertaining and fun day. Have a great one, everyone.